Hey, what is up everybody? It's Hyslabs coming at you guys with my first ever gameplay commentary of some now to should put in Ultimate Instrum Generations. Today is March 14th, 2012, the day after the North American United States release of now to should put in Ultimate Instrum Generations. And I will tell you guys that I am having a blast with this game. I really, really, really am enjoying this game. I'm having a lot of fun uh, playing with friends online, playing ranked battles against random people. And uh, I'm getting some pretty badass gameplay for you guys. So, uh, anyways, guys, um, for all you guys that uh, are subscribed to me, you guys should know that yesterday or all of yesterday, I was just posting uh, random battles that I was having on ranked match. And um, yeah, so anyways, um, a lot of you guys were like, "Oh, Tetris, you gotta do a commentary. You gotta do a follow-up commentary. Talk about what you think about the game and whatnot." So here I am, guys. The day after the release, um, I'm giving you guys my first impressions, first thoughts, and or follow-up video. Uh, so yeah, so anyway guys, um, first of all, I will tell you that uh, the gameplay that you guys are about to see um, is not like the greatest gameplay in the whole wide world, uh, primarily because of the fact that I'm just going ham on these kids. I'm just completely owning these kids in these three games. Um, actually, all the close battles that I had, I ended up posting yesterday, um, and today my capture card was being really uncompliant, so I really couldn't get a whole lot of gameplay for you guys, um, and I actually want to save some of those gameplays uh, for later on. Um, but anyway guys, yes, uh, today uh, it is somewhat relative interesting gameplay um, I like I said I'm gonna be destroying these kids but uh, you know you always want to see really close battles uh, but nonetheless uh, I am using a variety of characters so I hope you guys enjoyed that at least um, and I also hope you guys enjoy the commentary so anyway guys uh, without further ado let's go ahead and get into the commentary so anyways um, like I was saying you know I'm using a variety of characters in this game uh, let's go ahead and talk about that uh, as the first good thing that I really like about this game now if you're a true heart you know die-hard Naruto fan like me if you've been watching Naruto ever since uh, you know the very first episode Episode that came out in like 2006 or something in the United States um, you will definitely enjoy this game it has 70 plus characters I think there's like 55 or 60 or, or like maybe 50 um, you know main characters that you would use as your main lead character uh, and then you have like 15 or 20 support only characters you have a total of 70 I believe in the game and uh, that is huge you know in the first game I think you only had like a option of 30 characters or so and uh, you know for all you guys that are probably like oh you know why would you use the younger characters you know the younger characters suck you know nobody cares about the younger characters because you know they're the younger versions and they're not that good well uh, to the contrary guys um, as you can see right here I'm gonna be or I am using the younger Sasuke um, and he completely kicks some serious ass uh, this is the black suit Sasuke um, and I believe the story behind him is, is that like they only drew him for like two or three episodes or something and they actually went ahead and included him in the game um but uh yeah you know the younger characters definitely are really fun uh, i think in the next battle you guys are gonna be seeing me use young kakashi um and he just completely dominates you know i use him for pretty much everything um and i really like the character lineup you know they brought back haku they brought back brought back zabuza uh two fan favorites even though they were villains um i definitely did like to see uh zabuza the zabuza and haku uh arc and when they did die uh spoiler they did die um, you know, it was uh, it was pretty heartbreaking, and you guys will see all that when you play the story mode. Um, I will tell you guys, the story mode is not really all that enticing, uh, or for me it wasn't at least, uh, primarily because of the fact that I skipped every one of the cutscenes, uh, considering that you have to play through the story mode in order to get all the characters to use online. So I just went through, burned through all the story mode, I uh, did it in about 3 hours, if you skip all the cutscenes it's pretty easy. Um, all you guys do is just change the uh, options to uh, AI difficulty to super easy, and they're still pretty hard on super easy. I don't really understand why, I think I ended up losing like 15 times um, you know throughout the entire story mode before I actually completed it um, but you have to complete the whole story mode which is a, a downside to this game you know to uh, unlock all the characters you can't like you know buy them or whatever you know like a, an, an easier way instead of uh, you know having to unlock each character one by one you can just unlock like the characters that you would care to use or whatever because I'm only going to use like maybe 20 characters or so out of the you know 50 or so that you can use as your main lineup um, but yeah, that's a downside, you know, that you actually have to uh, play through the story mode because, you know, most people, they don't want to play through the story mode because they've already seen the anime and that's just pretty much exactly what it is. Story mode and anime, they're the same. If you've seen the anime, then the story mode, just skip the cutscenes. There's no really, there's really no point in playing through the story mode and watching all that crap. So, yeah, anyways, guys, um, some of the things that I really do enjoy about this game is the online mode. Now, the online mode is absolutely fantastic. Now, if you played Naruto Storm 2, um, most of you guys should know that Naruto Storm 2 did definitely have a lot of uh, internet connection issues. You know, people were lag switchers on that game. Um, you know, there were just random spontaneous lag spikes that you would experience. Um, and I really think that uh, Namco Bandai, I think the guys that created this game, I think that's what they're called. Uh, they actually went ahead and did a um, a big fix for the internet or for the uh, the network uh, of their game. And I will say that so far, I've not experienced you know 
any lag. I think actually in the first game I had like a one, like half a second transmitting error uh, or, or whatever. But uh, I pretty much, you know, the lag has been pretty much unexistent in this game. And that's a great thing. Lag is like the worst enemy to every gamer on the face of this planet. So um, aside from that, guys, um, some of the online modes that they actually went ahead and added uh, from Naruto Storm 2 is uh, they added an endless mode, uh, which basically you can get like four friends together and just, you know, fight each other over and over and over again. You know, instead of having to go back to the main screen and, uh, you know, pick different characters or whatever, you just pick a character and you continuously, you know, there's like a rotating thing and you like watch while two people fight and then you go and fight and it's just like a really cool little interesting thing if you're interested in doing that kind of thing where it's like an endless battle and there's also a new tournament online to or online tournament mode um, that they added and I really really uh, like that because you know I could potentially host some tournaments in the near future uh, for like prizes or whatever maybe I'll, I want to see if I can do that um, one day uh, you know, uh, so the tournament mode, really cool, um, it's, you know, also really cool to just go ahead and jump into a random online tournament, um, because that way you can kind of learn how to use, uh, different characters in different ways, um, because I'm, I, you know, like me, um, I hate using one character over and over again. I don't really understand how people use, like, Susanoo Sasuke over and over again, um, but, uh, I really like to just go into tournament mode, learn how to use different characters by watching other people that are, like, you know, way better than me. There's a lot of guys that are in this game that are just, like, ridiculously good, and I just, you know, like watching those guys from time to time, and I also like to fight them, you know, because it does, uh, you know, let me get an idea of how to use different characters. So, anyway, guys, I'm kind of running out of time here, so I wanted to uh, cover one more thing about this game that I really, really do not like, and that is Susanoo Sasuke. Sasuke and um, Sage Mode, not Sage Mode Naruto, um, QB Mode Naruto. Um, those are the two most overpowered characters in this game. Now, um, they're not really overpowered in their regular, you know, mode when they're just, you know, mashing B and attacking people. Uh, but when you turn them into awakened forms, they are super overpowered. Because whenever you turn to Susanoo Sasuke, uh, for whatever reason, there's like a random frame skip in the game. I don't think the game can actually handle uh, running Susanoo Sasuke for whatever reason. Um, but the game kind of slows down and it gives the Susanoo Sasuke advantage to kind of move around and just completely slice and dice at you. And I was up with like half a green bar against the Susanoo Sasuke. He goes into awakening mode and he just completely whoops my ass and wins the game and I was just like holy shit they seriously need to like you know nerf this Susano Sasuke or something uh, because in Naruto Storm 2 they didn't have any updates and I don't really know if they're gonna do that again in this game so um, there's a couple of overpowered characters in this game um, but if you are a good player if you learn how to you know play properly uh, and you practice well um, you can really, you can definitely get past those kind of characters because you know I've done the same uh, you know that's Susano Sasuke is like the most widely used character in the game which is kind of annoying but whatever uh you know you do see it a lot and uh you just gotta kind of get over it so anyway guys i uh, don't want to ramble on too much over a random picture of naruto here because that's probably what i'm going to put right there but anyway guys thank you for watching um i would definitely suggest for all you guys that like naruto and are diehard naruto fans like me go get this game it is awesome it is amazing and we should totally play just hit me up on my xbox live gamer tag and uh, we'll play so anyway guys thank you for watching make sure to comment rate and subscribe and i will see you guys later peace out guys